Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing grebes. These diving birds are similar in appearance to loons, but recent molecular data suggests they might actually be more closely related to flamingos. There are currently just over 20 living grebe species, and they can be found all over the world, although they're not present in Antarctica. They also tend to shy away from dense forests of the Amazon River Basin, as well as the dry heat of the Sahara Desert. They utilize all different sources of water, including lakes, swamps, rivers, ponds, and more. They are most often found in freshwater habitats, but some species live along coastlines during the winter. Grebes range in size from under a foot to over two feet long. They're stocky and built for living on and under the water. Their feathers are thick and waterproof. Their body is wedge-shaped to help cut through the water, and their legs are set back far in their body to help with propulsion and steering. Some grebes have long, thin, pointed bills, while others have short, cone-shaped bills. These differences are often associated with the different foods they eat. Sharp-beaked grebes most frequently catch fish, while short-beaked grebes go for crustaceans. This doesn't mean they're restricted to these diets, though. Grebes are excellent divers, and can catch all sorts of meals as they swim underwater. Most of their dives are less than 30 seconds long, but in that time they can score fish, frogs, insects, mollusks, and more. Something worth noting is that these birds also eat their own feathers. They do this to ease digestion, and they even feed their chicks molted feathers. Grebes need aquatic vegetation in their habitat to help construct their nest. They build floating nests near, but not directly attached to, the shore. Here, the female lays two to seven eggs, which are incubated by both parents for about a month. Grebes form monogamous pairs for a breeding season. They have elaborate rituals to affirm their bond, and both the male and female take part in nest construction and rearing the chicks. As soon as all the chicks have hatched, they climb atop one of their parents' backs. Grebe parents act as floating, mobile nests for the developing young. However, they can still dive even while the babies are in place. Young grebes are able to swim within their first week of life. Although these birds are capable of flight, well, most species anyway, they prefer to take to water to avoid predators. Babies know to stick just the tip of their bill above the water surface while they hide beneath the waves. Grebe predators include gulls, crows, coots, and other bird species, as well as raccoons who may raid nests and eat chicks. Part of the reason grebes prefer to dive to escape predators instead of fly is because they actually need a long stretch of open water to take off. Much like a loon, they require a running start to get themselves airborne. Plus, they're pretty gangly on land. With their legs positioned so far back, Grebes have to stand up tall just to move around on solid ground. They sort of look like penguins when they do this. Male and female grebes are similar in appearance, although males are slightly larger. They both take on breeding plumage with fancy feathers to attract a partner, and they both molt these feathers at the end of the breeding season, at which point they're in their duller winter hue. During this molt, the grebes can't fly at all. While not present in adults, Baby grebes have a patch of exposed skin on their head that changes color based on their hunger. When they're begging for food, it turns from yellow to bright red. Most grebes are silent outside of the breeding season, but during this time they make a variety of calls. Here are some examples of different grebe calls. For more facts on grebes, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, SpikeSpiegel93, Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.